Hello, what is up out there in YouTube land? I am Corny Swiss. Hello. How are you doing? God, I'm jumping. I'm so excited! Today I'm bringing you a special video. You'll notice I am not in our normal Minecraft world. I am, in fact, in the creative mode. Oh. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a certain thing that we sh showcased in our bank vault short video. You can go check that out if you haven't seen it already. But I'll be show showcasing bleh, how to build a combination lock in Minecraft based on some Boolean logic and AND gates. So, let's get to it. And you might ask, well, what, but why? Why not? Alright, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up six of these things because the combination lock I'm going to build will have six inputs. And you might be like, well, can it have more? Yes, it can. It can have less, in fact. It just needs at least two. Because if there's only one, I'm not sure how much of a, how good of a lock that would be. And then we just make these sort of shapes here. And right, then we're just going to run along. We're going to put levers all the way down the row. There you go. Now, what combination do we pick? Well, it's easy. That one, that one, and that one. You might ask, why did you pick those? That's the bank combination. Don't tell anybody. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But anyway. So we're going to pick that as the combination. So I'm just going to flip those guys back up. All right. So what we want to do with our selected combination is to th let's do this. Bring it out so it's four blocks long along the ground. Boink. And then this one. All right. And we're basically just, and we're just going to throw some redstone down. Let's get some redstone on the go everywhere like we don't care. I mean, it's redstone. Who doesn't love redstone? Except when your pack's full and stuff like that. But anyway, let's throw, let's get this down. All right. Now, the three that are shorter than these other three are going to be the incorrect input gates. And you might be like, oh, that sounds serious. It is serious. And we'll see why. But we need to dig this trench first. Okay, dig up this trench so we can stair step our way down with these not correct inputs. And we're just going to connect them up because they're all going to go the same thing. They're all going to go the same thing. But we also we might need a repeater. So let's throw one right there. For those of you who are not aware, you're watching this video and like, I don't know anything about redstone. A repeater is a cool device that extends a redstone signal because normally redstone will only travel about like 14, 15 blocks. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but something like that. And they also function to add delays. It's getting dark. Set the get that time right there we go now sun's way over there there it is hello but uh, they also function to add delays into more into the circuit but since we don't need delays we won't be dealing with that however they do extend the circuit which is what we need so yeah all right so you got this you got your redstone down here in the trench this steps down to it you got these things here next step is to put torches redstone torches right there and you're like why because we need them there that's why and you'll notice that if when you put redstone on this block, it they actually carries over. So you actually don't need a block right there, which is good. Makes maintenance a lot easier. So we're going to run this along here, down over to here, and we are going to drop actually like this. Nope, wait, I derped. That goes there. This goes there. That goes there. This is the output, which will go to the door you are locking. In a, in a different video, I'm going to show you how to make the door we made in the vault. And... Uh, why that we set the lock up this way but basically it's the opposite of what you want so you'll have to re-invert it to uh to make the door function the way you want because you need this invert this inverter here this signal inverter to uh to make the and gate work so and just to say what an and gate is just in case you weren't aware an and gate is a logic gate used in um computers, things like that, and, and just in math in general, I believe, that uh, will only be true if all of the inputs are, the, are themselves true. Right now, they are all false, so it is false, okay? But if I come over here, I hit this one and that one. Notice how it's not true yet. I come down here and hit this one. It is now true. The redstone is activated, it is on, the circuit will be completed. But I'm going to flip all these back off and notice how it turns off. Okay. So that's that. Now, 
let's say your door is over here. This is the next step to uh, to the Corny Bros bank door thingy. Okay, so there was something we added just to make it. Um, actually, we're not going to put this here just because it's a little tedious to do. We're going to put it right here, right there. That's a good spot. Okay, now something we added to make the um, ah, I'm just just ballsing things up today. It's got to be right there. Sorry, sorry, I'm a noob. Sorry. Something we added, it's a locking mechanism so that if you hit the wrong input, so let's say you hit one of the other uh, things that, or the other um, which, what doohickeys, one of these, it cuts the redstone signal. This door is now locked. You will not be able to open it until you hit this again. But let's say, let's say, okay, I got the right combination. Okay, I, I remember the combination. That's that's right. Okay, yeah, it's activated. Cool. But I thought there was one more. Uh, maybe it's this one. <gasps> the combination does not work because the piston is activated. It'll push this block in the way, cutting off these three pieces of redstone. This one, this one, and that one. When it's pushed, it will break this connecting part here and here without breaking the redstone and sever the, the connection. So it won't work. So, you can make your, honestly, this combination thing, you can make it any, you know, combination you want. You could do these three here, you could do these three here, you could do all, you could do these five, you could do these four, you could do that one, that one, that one, that one, whatever you want. It does not matter. It, um, you just set it up this way and it will work and you will have a combination lock to keep your pesky friends out of your stash of diamonds. But to show you it in action and uh, how we employed it. I'm going to... Don't tell anybody. Shh. Shh. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. Let me in. Don't tell Phil I did that. But notice how... Okay, I've already entered the correct combination. Oop, I was in there. Close that. And the door is open. And I'll tell you why that's dripping lava in a minute. Or actually, in the next video. Oops, I missed one. Oh. I can't get through. Ugh. Uh, ah. Okay, that doesn't work. So that is the combination lock we used in this vault door. If you'd like to see more redstone tutorials, please uh, let me know. I would love to do some more. I, have, I don't have, I'm not that great at redstone, but I do understand it. And I can uh, create any, uh, not anything, but I can create a lot of things you might want me to do. But anyway, it's just a little overhead view so you can see it and uh, replicate it in uh, your own world. So if this video helped you at all, please leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, lick your screen, whatever you want, whatever you want to do to show some love. I would much greatly appreciate it. I've been Corny Swiss. Thank you for watching.